Javier Zul grew up in the jungles of the Yucatan Peninsula in eastern Mexico. I come from uh, it's not Campeche. It's a Mayan city, and it's, it used to be the city of the sorcerers. Zul's family lived outdoors with no shoes and no walls. The leaves were his carpet, and the stars were his ceiling. In the jungle, we live in, in trees. We, we move from places to places. Normally, the monkeys, they have their area that they, they take care of it, and you become part of their big group of family. Zul grew up doing ritual dances that included carefully crafted movements based upon years of immersion with and observation of animals. Years I've been trying to explore where those movements and where those uh, way of thinking will take me. The moves took him to Cuba and then the United States where he studied with elite dance troops. His Mayan influence was never far behind. This um, realm of life, the body, the physical body is the most important thing. You don't think about things, you just live things. He started Zul Dance, which blended acrobatics, ballet, and modern dance, inspired by ancient Mayan beliefs. We believe that uh, the priests and the sorcerers, they can transform their body by using energy. And physically, it means that you, are, you have the capacity to move your joints and your muscles and your bones in a way that uh, it looks like they are changing shapes. Zul teaches at the Circus Warehouse in Long Island City. Owner Susie Winson has been performing her entire life, but says Zul is in a class by himself. The combination of things that make up Javier, his spirituality, um, his ideas about how to hold yourself and carry yourself in the world, all inform his dancing, and he's um, just exquisitely intelligent as well. Zul is proud that his dance company has been invited to perform in Mexico at Campache's 500th anniversary celebration. I try to work to create works where my dancers can show that world, that Mayan world. So in a way my work is very... it takes you to another place. Uh, it takes you to a place that exists but we cannot see. One of the troop members is Zul's own daughter. I start to see and learn and appreciate the artistry behind the dance, so it's not just moves um, in sequence, but every move is saying something, and it's telling a story, and expressing an emotion on stage, and I think that's actually very beautiful to me. I think it's a style of movement more than anything. It's a lot of very, very tiny, very sharp sort of movements. Um, almost sort of like a, like an animal, like a, like a jaguar almost. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. In spite of all his success, Zul says that he still thinks about the jungles of his childhood. His house is alive with Mayan masks and works of art that he uses in his dance. Sometimes I feel that Living here in this culture, everything is about your brain works first and then your body goes after. And when you live in the jungle, your body sets the rules. Today, Zul sets the rules and has discovered that magical feeling that makes life worth living. I think to be standing on stage and move, it makes me the happiest um, person in the world. And for his family, friends, and students who love him, the world is a better place with soul in it. Wendy Rhodes for Columbia Television News.